I have entered my romance era and I thought what would be a better time to do a little romance reading vlog. So in this video I'll be reading some popular romance books. I have heard so much about Magnolia Parks on booktube, on booktalk and bookstagram. It's basically everywhere. All I've known about it going into this book that it's supposed to be like Gossip Girl in the UK and that it's about a toxic relationship and that basically sums up this book pretty well. It's about Magnolia and BJ, two socialites from London and their love story. They have this very close friend group and some extremely famous parents. There is no spice in this book, just fade to black scenes, which I really like. <laughs> But before we get into my experience reading the first Magnolia Parks book, let's make some tea. I'm 106 pages into Magnolia Parks and let me tell you, this book has me by its grip. Like, I'm so hooked already and I don't really know how that happened. Like, I wasn't really expecting it, to be honest. Like, even though it's such a hyped book, I was like, yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure if it's, like, for me, but it really seems like it is for me. <laughs> it's a lot deeper than I thought. It's a lot more emotional than I thought. It's not really like how I thought it was gonna be. I did expect like a toxic relationship but not really like this. I don't know, I'm super hooked. Like the writing style is fantastic. Like you really feel with Magnolia and you also really feel with BJ. Like reading all of those words, like they hit so deep. <laughs> I'm always like sitting there and having like this tingly feeling kind of. <laughs> I'm experiencing so many emotions and usually like books make me feel emotions towards the end but not really at the beginning that much because I haven't built a connection to the characters but somehow this book is doing this to me a hundred pages in or like even 30 pages in. Like 30 pages in I was already like wow <laughs> this book why? And I went ahead and purchased all other three books of this, so I guess that's all you really need to know right now. So let's unbox the other three Magnolia Parks books. I am so freaking hyped about owning all of the three pretty editions now and having them in my collection. They are so artsy. This is the third one, if I'm correct. There are two Daisy Hates books and two Magnolia Parks books, but you read them in a certain order. The Daisy Hates books is the second one, and I just love the daisies on this one. Also, this window on the back kind of reminds me of Friends, which makes sense, I think, because the series feels like Friends with rich people. And the fourth book, the second Daisy Hates book, is my favorite, I think. It's so artsy and aesthetic and has those daisies on the back. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite cover of the four.
I'm halfway through now and I just want them to get together. <laughs> like this feeling that it gives me, it really reminds me of If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. That book also like always gave me the feeling of like coming home when I started reading it. And that's exactly how this one is as well. I've also started Crave by Tracy Wolf and kind of really enjoying that one as well. Like it is pretty badly written at times <laughs> and it feels a little bit cringy at times, but it's kind of fun. Like it's just kind of like a guilty pleasure in that sense. It's a vampire story and it's set at a boarding school. It's all of these fantasy and fall vibes combined with romance. And I, I don't know, it's just exactly what I've wanted right now. And it's also free on Audible. Like if you have an Audible subscription, I think it's free. I don't know if it's like included in the subscription all around the world, but it definitely is in Germany. I'm actually listening to it at 1.8 speed, which is kind of crazy <laughs> to me because like I usually don't listen to audiobooks that fast. I usually try to enjoy my audiobooks, but because this is like such a light story, it's not like a lot of plot and a lot to understand. And sometimes like a guilty pleasure is all you need. Like sometimes you just want to read something fun. Sometimes you just want to s switch off while listening to something. And that's exactly what Crave is. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. I can't even tell you how frustrating it is to read chapter after chapter after chapter. BJ thinking about Magnolia in a certain way and Magnolia thinking about BJ in a certain way and them not knowing what the other person actually thinks and them misunderstanding each other again and again. And oh, it's so frustrating. And their actions, especially BJ's actions, of course she's gonna misinterpret them, of course she's gonna think a certain way about them and Sometimes I feel like my mind is gonna explode. But you know, I'm still having the time of my life, I feel like. Um, it's really entertaining and yeah, I really feel every second with them. So yeah, I can't really complain, but also I'm complaining. I'm definitely complaining because I would just love for them to know what the other person thinks, what they're actually feeling, and I just really want them to get back together and oh my gosh. <laughs> The fields. Ah, I can't stop reading, and yeah, I just wanted to give you a little update. But I'm gonna continue reading now. So. <laughs>
Yesterday I didn't finish my 100 pages, so now I have 140 pages left. I read around 70 pages yesterday. I wanted to read 30 pages at night, but I just didn't get around to it because I was editing and yeah, I'm a little bit in stress right now <laughs> because um, I'm going on vacation next Monday and I still have to finish two videos so I have enough uploads while I'm gone. But today I want to push through and finish Magnolia Parks and hopefully finish Crave as well. I have around three hours left of listening. I can't wait to finally find out what happens between Magnolia and BJ. Of course, there's like three other books, <laughs> so I won't know for sure if it's gonna stay like that in the end. I still hope like something big happens at the end of the first book. After finishing Magnolia Parks, I listened to the last bit of Crave and prepared some new Lightroom preset packs for my Etsy shop. If you have a bookstagram or love to post any kind of aesthetic pictures, maybe one of my preset packs can help you to achieve the vibe you're going for. If you want to check it out, you can find the link to my shop in the description. Your support would really mean so much, even if it's just favoriting my shop. the next day and I have finished Magnolia Parks as well as Crave by Tracy Wolf. Let's first talk about Magnolia Parks. I did not see the ending of this one coming, like I kind of did throughout the story every once in a while. Like when it was happening I did not <laughs> see it coming. My emotions were very heightened and I really needed to process it all because it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot and now I really really want to read the second book but I don't know like if we get any more plot in the second book about Magnolia Parks because the second book is about Daisy Hates. I'm not sure if it like continues to explain stuff about Magnolia or about BJ. This book has done a lot of things with me. Like I said in the beginning, I didn't expect to like it in that way as I did. I kind of thought it was going to be a little bit more shallow, but it wasn't honestly. Uh, it was actually very, very deep, but you kind of have to go into the story with the knowledge that like the characters have a little bit of that, like of that judgy 
thinking about other people like you have to expect like okay they think in a cer certain way because they live a certain standard of lifestyle and they live in this celebrity or like this rich people world but i think if you're not prepared for people being materialistic and judgmental and a little bit superficial <laughs> You're not gonna enjoy the story, but I personally really really enjoyed to see that point of view and to see like how rich people think sometimes, but also like sometimes didn't enjoy about it because sometimes it didn't feel as relatable. Like I understood all of the emotional side of it, but sometimes like the materialistic and the... <laughs> my cat is going crazy right now, maybe you can hear that. My other cat is going crazy as well. Nice. So yeah, it really did feel like Gossip Girl sometimes and also like Magnolia was very self-centered and BJ was also kind of very self-centered. So yeah, if you don't enjoy people being self-centered, <laughs> don't read this book. But also Nox, BJ's and Magnolia's relationship was very intense and very emotional and you really felt with them like the emotional side of this book was so great and I really really loved that and I also really loved the friend group. Like some of the friends are actually gang lords, which is kind of crazy to me. <laughs> like, how? <laughs> okay, I needed to let my cat out for a second. This book was honestly like a roller coaster of emotions and it was pure enjoyment as well. I really had a really fun time reading it. Do you know those books that really feel like its own world? And that's what this book was. It really gave me that feeling of like entering another world, entering another reality. And my overall rating of Magnolia Parks would be 4.75 stars. I did really love it, but there were some parts here and there where I was like, Ah, uh, this might not be a five-star read, but I did really love it and I can't wait to read the second book. I'm probably gonna read it on vacation and I'm gonna do like a whole video on like what I want to read on vacation and then I'm gonna do a vacation vlog, obviously. So yeah, if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Yeah, let's talk about Crave. Crave was a whole different story. I kind of knew what I got myself into when I started this book. I expected a very cringy and a little bit bad written story and that's exactly what I got. It was uh, very fantasy driven, very romance driven. Sometimes, like I said, that's all you need to, to have like a very light story and a very fun story to listen to. Yeah, that's exactly what this was. It was a fun fall read and it gave me all of those fall vibes and the main love interest was a little bit annoying, <laughs> which was to be expected. <laughs> and he was like super hot and stuff like that. That was kind of annoying as well. I rated it three stars, yeah, because it was just average to me and it wasn't like something great, but it also wasn't like super bad. It was just kind of fun. <laughs> That's all I can really say about it. If you're looking for something like that, maybe check it out. Um, there's actually, I think, four or five books. I'm not 100% sure. There are a few more books and I'm probably going to listen to them all at some point. I think that is all for this reading vlog. I had a super fun time reading those romance books with you. And if you want to see me read more romance books, I'm probably going to read them when I'm on vacation. <laughs> It would mean so much if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. In my description is my Etsy shop if you want to check it out. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>